South Kaibab Trail. There are no words, there are no photos, there are no video clips that do justice to how spectacular this trail is. Grand Canyon National Park. When they say the Grand Canyon is one of the seven natural wonders of the world, you come to the South Kaibab Trail, you'll understand why. Rugged. These are some serious switchbacks right here. Remote. The weather's still getting a little bit crazier. I see lightning off in the distance. Truly remarkable. This is it for me. This is the happiest place on earth, honestly. You can see and actually hear the Colorado for the first time. This is what you need to know before you experience for yourself one of the world's most iconic hikes. South Kaibab is it, guys. If you're gonna hike one trail in the Grand Canyon, this is the one to do. Before the views come the logistics. The South Kaibab Trailhead is about four miles from the hustle and bustle of Grand Canyon Village and the more heavily traveled Bright Angel Trail. It's a challenge to get there because private vehicles aren't allowed and the park shuttle buses can come with long waits. If you want an alternative, a hack to the whole thing, walk down to Bright Angel Lodge. You can actually call a taxi. If you do not take a shuttle, a taxi is your only alternative directly to the South Kaibab Trailhead. It saves me about 45 minutes, gets me on the trail a lot quicker. Once at the parking lot, it's just a short walk to the trailhead and your first look at what lies ahead. Immediately, you begin a steep descent down a short set of switchbacks called the chimney. Not long after comes a stark warning. When you're going down into the canyon, it feels easy, right? You're going downhill. It's a mountain upside down. So the hard work, the real hard work, doesn't come until you go back up. So people overestimate their abilities. Before they know it, they've gone too far, and you still have to go back out. They run out of water. They become overheated, and you've got a rescue situation on your hand. It's not something to be taken lightly. And that sign, Victor Vomit, as it's so affectionately known, is there to let people know what you're doing is dangerous, you better be careful because they don't want to come down and rescue. The big saying in the canyon, going down is optional, coming up is mandatory. The first stop, a mile from the rim and about 800 feet down, is the aptly named Ooh-Ah Point, and the first look at those panoramic canyon views. Ooh-Ah Point is a place where a lot of people turn around. It's, uh, that's a good day hike. It's about a mile down, a mile back up, so it's two miles round trip. You lose and then gain a lot of elevation, so it can be a strenuous hike, especially in the summer months when it's super hot, you might not have enough water, and there's no place to refill your water anywhere on the South Kaibab Trail. You wanna go a little bit farther for a day hike, uh, Cedar Ridge is another good option, and that's next in about half a mile, uh, about a mile and a half total from the trail. But it's just after Ua where the canyon truly opens up. I tell people all the time that I literally will start laughing out loud several times during this hike on South Kaibab because the views are just so incredible. And this is the first one that kind of just knocks your socks off. I mean, just look at this. This is why this is the greatest trail that there that there is. It's just this spectacular the entire way. That's why I just, South Kaibab is it guys. If you're gonna hike one trail in the Grand Canyon, this is the one to do it. It's just, it's laughable, amazing. The next stop is Cedar Ridge. A mile and a half from the trailhead, we've now descended over 1,100 vertical feet. Here, there are bathrooms, but it can't be emphasized enough. There is no drinking water available anywhere on the South Kaibab Trail. Good place for a lot of folks to turn around. You've had a great day. You really get the, uh, you know, almost the full Kaibab experience, the full Grand Canyon experience when you hike down South Kaibab to Cedar Ridge. The views the rest of the way are pretty much the same. They're iconic, they're unbelievable, but you really accomplish something by going to Cedar Ridge. So that's a uh, three mile round trip, day hike. It's a good place to turn around or you can get adventurous. If you're up for it, trained for it, and you go down to Skeleton Point, which is the next stopping point, a mile and a half in that direction. Like all of Grand Canyon's main trails, South Kaibab is well-maintained. Hiking boots and trail running shoes are the primary footwear you'll see, and you do have to watch your step. One thing you got to be really careful about when you're going down South Kaibab and Bright Angel, for that matter, uh, is the steps. There's big steps the whole way down. You're kind of not walking on a smooth path. 
Uh, you're stepping up and down constantly. And inside those steps, it's not level. There are actually uh, ruts that are caused by the mule trains that, uh, that go down here every single day. They take these trails down to the bottom of the canyon to Phantom Ranch, taking tourists down there and also taking supplies down to, uh, to Phantom. So it creates a, a more of an uneven environment. It is so easy to twist your ankle uh, and really ruin your hike if you're not careful. So it's easy to be looking up and looking around while you're doing this, but if you don't watch your step, you can twist an ankle really easily and that can, uh, that can change your hike in a, in a hurry. As for the steep cliffs and dangerous drop-offs so many worry about? You know, one of the big questions that we get in the uh, Hike Grand Canyon Facebook group is, is it dangerous? I really don't think there's anything to be afraid of. The trails are wide, they're well maintained. There are steep drop-offs in places that are right next to the trail, but as long as you stay on the trail, you are fine. When it comes to those steep drop-offs, just go to the side of the trail that, that hugs the canyon wall. You're gonna be fine. There's really nothing to worry about. It's safe here as long as you stay on the trail. You have a lot more to, to, to be afraid of when it comes to not being prepared and overexerting yourself and you know things you can control running out of water, dehydration, heat exhaustion. Those are the things you have to worry about much more than taking a, taking a bad step and, and, and falling and uh, falling to your death off the side of the Grand Canyon. Stay on the trail, nothing to worry about. The journey from Cedar Ridge to Skeleton Point is a respite of sorts, a more gentle slope with just a couple of switchbacks, though you're still dropping about 900 vertical feet in a mile and a half. Reaching Skeleton Point, we're three miles from the rim and more than 2,000 feet below it. This is as far as the Park Service says you should go on a day hike. But you know, I'd recommend just three more short switchbacks. I'm so excited to show you this. Three switchbacks down from Skeleton Point is what I consider the best view on any of the corridor trails. It's just gonna sneak up on you. You guys, check this out. It's just breathtaking, and pictures and video do not even come close to doing it justice. I mean, this is the best view I've ever seen in my life. First view of the river, you can see the Tonto Trail down there on the Tonto platform. I just get so excited and giddy every single time. It's just, it's breathtaking. From here, the hike gets more challenging, especially if you're going up South Kaibab, which fortunately we're not. Big set of switchbacks coming up right here. These are the uh, red and white switchbacks. And you can see they are, uh, they're no joke. Long way down. Next stop is tip-off. Tip-off is about uh, two miles from the river. And uh, we're making progress. At tip-off, we're a mile and a half from Skeleton Point and four and a half miles and more than 3,200 feet below the South Rim. Here, there are pit toilets and a storm shelter. You can hear how that wind is whistling through this uh, storm shelter right here. Hear that? So something's coming in. See how dark it's getting out here uh, to the west of us. But we're going to keep going. We're now 2.1 miles from the river, with 1,600 vertical feet still to descend. That's about 100 feet higher than the very tip of the Empire State Building. The sun's setting. It's gorgeous. We've got our first look at the Black Bridge down there. It's a very steep switchbacks, which is uh, how this uh, this whole hike finishes. It started with steepness, it ends with steepness as we make our way down to Black Bridge. When we get there, we'll be 50 feet above the river and have descended 4,800 vertical feet from the South Rim over just six and a half miles. There's Black Bridge. Where we're headed, we're almost there. You might be wondering why I'm hiking so late in the afternoon. Well, this is August in Arizona in the Grand Canyon. It gets so hot here. And most people will leave three, four o'clock in the morning before the sun comes up. And then they hike out Bright Angel, getting out mid, mid to late morning. I don't like that because it is scorching hot with the sun just beating down on you the entire way up Bright Angel, the hardest part of the hike. So I found the best way to do it is to leave South Kaibab Trailhead late in the afternoon, three, four, five o'clock. There's really nobody on the trail. It's empty. Um, and then you get to the bottom and then the hard work begins, but it's getting dark or it already is dark. So it's going into the coolest part of the, of the evening. 
and it's just so much more pleasant. And I don't mind hiking out at all in the dark. Just put your uh, put your lamp on and get to work. And it's honestly a little easier because you don't have to look up and see how far you have to go because it's a long 10 mile hike out and going up, you know, <clears throat> about 4,400 feet to uh, the South Rim Grand Canyon Village at the end of Bright Angel Trail. There's the Black Ridge right there. I've been chatting a long time, almost Black Ridge. We get down there and go through that tunnel that you see right there. I'll turn the camera back on, cross the river, send you guys on your way. And I'm gonna get to work. Into the light, Black Ridge. So there it is guys, we did it. We made it all the way to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, South Kaibab Trail, 6.3 miles to get to the Black Bridge, 4,800 feet of elevation that we lost, almost a full mile straight down. We're about out of light, so I hope you enjoyed this trip down the South Kaibab Trail to the Colorado River. It has been a, a very fun journey to share it with you. Uh, please like, follow, and share, and we'll bring you plenty more videos like this exploring everything that is the magic of the Grand Canyon.